artist, adventurer, and nomad, and the world is my home. After living in a van with my wife and two dogs for the past three and a half years and traveling all over North America, we've decided we need more space. But we're not settling down. We're getting a second tiny home on wheels. Can you guess what it is? Today is a really big day. We are on the road going to look at a little tiny home on Wales for me. So it is very possible that this is the last time that Natalie and I are riding in the cab of the van together. Oh snap! Whoa! It is the last time. We are manifesting this. I have a really good feeling and I just think that at the end of the day I'm gonna have my own tiny home. You will. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. So Natalie, what are you gonna do with all the space in the passenger seat when I'm not taking it up? You have more storage. I'm gonna get a wacky wheelie inflatable tube man to sit in the passenger seat with me. You want a wacky weighty inflatable tube man? I got you. <laughs> I have my own home on wheels. <laughs> it's not a van or a bus. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Introducing Abby's new tiny home on wheels. <laughs> this is a 1986 Toyota Dolphin. There are three main reasons why I chose this particular rig. Number one, size. The Toyota Dolphin is 21 feet long, which is the same length as the van. It fits in a regular parking space and it maneuvers pretty easily. I love that. Number two is livability. If I had the time, energy, space, or tools to do another conversion from the beginning, I probably would have gone with a short bus because I really like them. But I didn't. So I wanted something that was move-in ready and livable pretty much from the get-go. And this thing is. And the third reason I chose this Toyota Dolphin is price. As much as I would have loved a converted van or short bus, those things are selling for like over $60,000. That just wasn't in my budget. Luckily, Older RVs are super affordable and you can fix them up on the inside to be modern and beautiful, anything you want really. This was just the perfect fit for me at this time. I got a really good deal on it and I'm really excited about it. Are y'all ready to see the inside? <laughs> Full size bed. Yes. Oh my god, check it out. Bathroom, fully enclosed. Bathroom with a skylight and fan and a sink and mirror cabinet, shower area. What? What? Oh my gosh, that is luxurious. And then full on living area and kitchen got a fridge right here microwave cooktop sink complete with running water lots of cabinets and windows everywhere full dinette this table is removable and this whole thing can become another bed. So I've got two sleeping areas. What? Beautiful butcher block countertop. Heck 
Yes, lots of cabinet space. Y'all. And then of course the cab driving area up front that I can crawl into from inside if I need to. A mirror, y'all, look at this. I have a closet where I can actually hang clothes. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you, but this feels luxurious. <laughs> this is super random, but how cute is this? It came with a hula girl. I love it. You go, girl. This is it. <laughs> My new tiny home on wheels. Wow, what do you guys think of the space? <sighs> this place is already so well set up. It's got everything. There is a bit of an issue though. There's just a bit too many clashing patterns going on in here, don't you think? I am so excited to give this place a little bit of a makeover and really make it feel like home to me. I'm going to be doing some painting and refinishing and refabricating. I cannot wait for that. <laughs> and to transform this space into my sanctuary, my bohemian sanctuary on wheels. <laughs> but before I do any redecorating, I have one big problem I need to solve. This is an RV and it's not set up for off-grid living the way I'm used to with the van. So I'm gonna need to figure out how I'm gonna have electricity off-grid. Luckily, I think I have a solution for that. I love EcoFlow as a company because they are committed to environmental protection and they implement technology to ensure pollution-free and non-toxic products. And they offer a wide variety of solar generators and portable power stations to get you prepared for any power outage. This is the EcoFlow Delta 1300 and it's gonna power me up while I live off-grid. There are multiple ways to recharge this power station. You can plug it into the wall and it charges super fast. It goes from zero to 100% in 1.6 hours, fully charged with your wall outlet. What? You can also charge it while you're driving with this other outlet connector that goes into a 12 volt uh, like car outlet. That's awesome. If you're like me, you're living off grid and you wanna use the power of the sun, this thing becomes a solar generator by connecting it to a solar panel. This EcoFlow 160 watt solar panel has a high conversion efficiency of 21 to 22%. EcoFlow's extreme technology allows me to charge the Delta with the solar panel from zero to 80% within one hour and fully charged within two hours. And I love how small this portable solar panel packs into a nice little square which makes it really easy to store. It doesn't take up too much space, but it provides me so much power. <laughs> this thing is set up really well and has lots of options to charge up everything you need in your life for me. My laptop, my camera batteries, my phone, my little mini fans, like everything. And I like that on one side, six AC outlets with a maximum of 1800 watts. What? On the other side, we've got our DC outlets. It's got two super fast charging USB, another two USB A's, and then two USB C's, which is awesome because I have a couple things that are USB C, some that are USB A, and so I am gonna make use of all these different components. And super easy to use with just a simple power on and plug in. Ta-da! Charging. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh that's much better. It's a hundred degrees out right now, y'all. But I have power to charge my fan. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but Photo and video editing software sucks up the power out of the laptop. My charge literally only lasts maybe two hours, so I have to constantly recharge this laptop in order to make these videos for you guys. 
So I'm really thankful for this power station. Thank you EcoFlow for sponsoring this video and all my power needs. Truly EcoFlow is an awesome company with lots of amazing products to choose from. I really love the Delta 1300 with the 160 watt portable solar panel. It's just what I need for my off-grid life, um, but it could really come in handy, say if you're in a house and you have a power outage and you wanna keep your fridge cold. This is the perfect solution. So check out the links in my description on where to purchase your own EcoFlow products. You won't regret it. I love you so much. Thank you for powering my life. Now that I have power figured out, it's time to start decorating. First up, <laughs> a beautiful tapestry. <laughs> I'm all about artwork and beautifying a space and this chakra tapestry really spoke to me. I love it. It's gonna inspire me to meditate and it's a rainbow. Come on, love that. <laughs> okay, what's next? It's time to say goodbye to these curtains. I got these beautiful linen curtains, nice and bright and light. And they're so long, I'm going to cut them in half. Woohoo! Now I have two curtains. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Curtains are coming along. It's looking so much better in here already. It's taking me probably about an hour to hem or sew each curtain. Basically, I've cut them in half, and then uh, this one's for the kitchen. So I just uh, shorten them according to the length, because all the windows are different lengths, and then sew them back up. While I sew, I like put on a podcast or documentary or something like that. So I learn something new or get inspired uh, while I do my work. And it's been really nice. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I love crafting anyway, so sewing is fun for me. Painting is fun for me. I love all this kind of stuff. So I am enjoying the whole process. I know the finished result is going to look amazing, um, but I'm enjoying myself in the process too. I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. Check out the spot, the view out the door. Wow. Got my little home parked right up there. This never gets old. I've been on the road three and a half years, although it kind of feels like I'm starting over again, you know, now that I've got my new tiny home. But, uh, it never gets old. Just being at home and being able to be in these beautiful spots of nature and just all the places I get to call home. It feels so good. It's like magic. It's like a little magic that us nomads have. And um, yeah, I'm really happy to be sharing it with you guys because it just feels too special and too magical to not share some of that. I'm really excited about the renovations that are coming along inside, but I'm also considering painting the outside. What do you guys think? Part of me is like, oh, I should just leave it as is because I kind of like the idea that it just looks like a really old beat up RV on the outside. And then on the inside, it's like cute and modern and bohemian and you know, me. But um, maybe the outside should reflect my personality. Or should it be more like, <laughs> you know, a disguise for what's inside. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'm curious to hear. <laughs> wow, this is so beautiful. <laughs>
stop waking up with the sunrise. This is what freedom feels like. To be home in the middle of this vast landscape. Enjoying my cup of coffee with the sunrise. <laughs> my tiny little home right over there. <laughs> you like the sunrise? Yeah, me too. It's pretty windy in here. Check it out. looking pretty good in here. I am so excited. It is feeling so good to get crafty and make this place feel like a cozy home. Oh, I love it. The pillows are so soft and luxurious and they're reversible. How cool is that, right? So each side is two different colors. What? Each one is different. Whoa. Isn't that amazing? Love that. In a small space, the more you can make things versatile, the better. I am in a Walmart parking lot. That's just a part of this life <laughs> as well. You guys know that by now. It has been one whole week since I've seen Natalie. When I got this rig, Natalie wanted to go out on a little solo adventure and see what that feels like. Well, today we are meeting back up. I'm so excited. I'm excited to show her, you know, some of my home improvements and hear about her solo adventure. <laughs> but before I hit the road, I have one more little home improvement that I'm gonna do first. I recently painted these kind of sexy little paintings, and I think they would be perfect to hang up in the bedroom. Here goes nothing. <laughs> First one's up. <laughs> okay, this is fun. <laughs> Ta-da! I think that looks so nice. What do you guys think? I decided to keep these original paintings for myself because I really like the way they turned out and I can now see them every time I crawl into bed and I love that. I am going to be making prints of these so if you like them too, you can purchase one of your own or purchase the trio as a set. So you can check those out on my online shop. I actually have lots of prints there for sale. I even have a little discount running right now. So you should check that out. I really appreciate it. You know, every time you purchase my art, you're, you know, keeping me on the road. So thank you. <laughs> if you're missing Natalie on the channel, you can buy a print of her face. Look at how beautiful this is. Available now. This original painting um, I've had for sale on the shop for a while, but it never sold, so too late. I'm keeping it. <laughs> I do have prints of this one still available on my online shop, as well as many other prints, and maybe even a couple originals. So head on over there. Check it out. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. <laughs> for you today. <laughs> <laughs>
Damn, I like this handy woman. <laughs> Natalie is helping me with a little repair. Yeah, she's got some interesting finagling job done here, so I'm trying to get it back to decent so that she can put some cute shelving in and stuff and make it homey. Yeah, because I did not need the microwave that was in there. I'm also just gonna say this now. Abby's going to paint this whole ceiling, okay? Like the Sistine Chapel. I'm putting that out there so that it happens. <laughs> it's in the universe now. There'll be naked women. <laughs> Are you kidding? I don't even, oh. I don't even have a Phillips head. All right. Worst lesbian ever. <laughs> what the hell is that? All right. Oh, you know what I need is my damn power drill. What am I doing? Let me go get that little power drill. Work okay. smarter, not harder. Some of these doors come open while I drive, and she is fixing them. I'll move it forward, it should be fine. So what do you think? I love it. It's wide, you've got plenty of room. I'm excited for you. What do you think of like the work I've done so far? I know I haven't done that much, but oh, it took me a week to do it. I already know you're gonna make it look extravagant. I can't wait till you like actually paint on the walls like some of your own work. I love these, these are amazing. I love that you did two different tones and patterns. I love the pillows. I love it. I knew you were going to make it look amazing. I mean, it's just in the works. Like, it's just the beginning. So I can't wait to see, like, yeah, the total transformation. Yeah. Are you excited? You're helping me. Well, i got to help in any way that I can. <laughs> Come on. I'm I want to so make sure that you're safe and that you are secure and that you have all the ways to power things. I want to power everything now. I used to worry all the time. It's going to take me a while to not worry so much about every little thing when you're off on your own. But I'm getting, I'm getting used to it. It actually helped me to go on my solo trip because I took a lot of time to really go inward and consider some of my patterns and things that we finally had communicated about. There's been a lot of growth happening because of that. I can't worry so much. I have to have some faith in you. I was really excited about doing that because part of the thing was that I felt like I would be fearful for some reason, but I really embraced having the time to myself. For long periods of time, I don't know, I would definitely need to like meet up with you and meet up with mm. people. Oh yeah. It's definitely an experience that I have been wanting to do for so long. And it wasn't very long, I only did a few days, but I could absolutely see myself getting lost here and there um, when we caravan and then go off and do yeah. weeks on my own. And it's very nice to sit with yourself. You know, you really learn a lot about who you are. You're a lot of fun to be around, so. I am, I really right? enjoy my own company. Like exactly. I can joke, I can be ridiculous. You're the most genuine that you'll ever be, I think in your own company, so. I think it's important for everyone to have that experience. Heart grows fonder for the people that you do love when you do see them, so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I missed you. I missed you too. I can't wait to do more caravan together. I'm gonna host you for all the, the tarot readings, and dinners. I'm gonna be like the host rig, because there's a lot oh, of space yeah, in here. I'm not coming into Wanda anymore. <laughs> you have all the room. We're definitely going to be eating in here. This is perfect for you when you start going off and you're going to have clients and you're going to do all the photography and traveling. And I don't feel like I'm dragging her along either, yeah. you know, on work Yeah, because then it's really, so it like, just becomes about me having to go where she goes, you know. And now we literally can just do as we want and then we meet up when we miss each other. Yeah, we've just been more connected. We really appreciate last week. We had a lot of amazing comments. I expected some that were going to be a little off-putting, but not everyone can understand what we're doing. But if you can appreciate really wanting to be as close to your partner as possible, that doesn't mean literally on top of each other. It right. just means respecting each other's needs yeah. for different things in life. Instead of looking at that as, I don't love you, that's like, dude, root for you, like, go do it. To me, that's a power couple. I can absolutely, like, support you wherever you're at yeah. and vice versa. I feel that. I feel the love and support. Whether or not we are living together in our teeny tiny, you know, little van space or we have now separate spaces. Honestly, I feel that the love and support even more. We really make that effort to show that. I think we just realize how important it is in our relationship and in our individual lives to have that autonomy and freedom to yeah. do those things for ourselves. And it makes us really savor the time we have with each other. Well, eventually we want to settle down from this life and have a homestead. I mean, that's the goal for most nomads. We'll have plenty of time to be with each other on a property mm -hmm. and this is the time for us to be exploring who we are still. Mm -hmm. That's what this chapter is about. Yeah, we're in a long-term commitment mm -hmm. and pockets of those time throughout life, like we're gonna wanna explore different things. And so okay. I, I think this is an, a yeah. beautiful time in our relationship. I'm just excited to see your journey. I'm excited to see you paint more. I'm excited to see you get back into your photography on the road. Like, so here for it. I'm, ex I'm, I'm excited to see you blossom. Yeah, man, I'm, I gotta write this book. I gotta, oh, I gotta, I gotta fly. Fly. Go to Instagram if you wanna follow my cooking stuff. 
and see what I'm up to. I know not all of y'all are on Instagram, and you've said that in the comments. I'm gonna miss you when we're, when we're not, like, caravanning together. They're gonna miss you, so you're gonna have to send video clips of what you're doing for everybody. I know. Me and, me and Bear. Oh my god, Bear. Sweet baby. Me and Bear. Sweet baby. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're going on and on and on, but, um, yeah, that's it for this week. I'll catch you next week. Bye. Bye. Guys. Go get dinner. Luce. Leo, you on fire. All right. There it is. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm still going to have a, you know, I'm going to have my face out there for you guys. That's Leo's statement. <laughs> Don't worry. The personality will still show up. Okay. Calm down. Everything's fine. Okay. Still have the jokes. This is the Eco Club. Oh my God. All of these cars. Thank you. <laughs> Doesn't that feel nice? Doesn't that feel nice? These videos are made possible through the support of our patrons. Join the Ride and Seek crew on Patreon today. Thank you, crew!